shortages and a cold weekend ahead. What Avista is saying tonight. Well, tens of thousands still without power tonight after Tuesday's windstorm. The big question for how much longer? KXY4's Alyssa Donovan working for you tonight. And Alyssa, how much of a wait are we talking about? Well, Nadine, Avista and Inland uh, Power have both made some great progress after Tuesday's storm. They've restored more than half of their customers uh, to power. However, that does leave about 80,000 people still in the dark. Right now, Avista crews are focusing on the most critical feeders in the community. Those include things like water and sewer pumping stations, hospitals, uh, uh, fire and police stations, as well as senior service, senior uh, living places. Those have been absolutely critical. Schools. The areas in green on this map have power restored. Areas in red are still without power. And the areas in blue are what's being worked on today. We're, we're taking care of the critical infrastructure in Spokane. We should have most of that done by tonight. And then we're going to shift our focus to what I would call the, getting the most bang for our buck, where we can get large numbers of customers up in neighborhoods. More crews are coming in today from out of town to help restore power. So by 10 o'clock tonight, we should have 97 construction crews, counting our own, our, in, our own 28 in-house crews, should be in the Spokane area restoring service to our customers. With four or five guys on a crew, roughly 500 linemen will be working in Spokane this weekend. But the timeline of when power should be restored has not changed. So we're really talking about a Saturday, Sunday, Monday restor restoration to get it, get people back on. If your home is still without power, it's really time to think about heading to a shelter. Homes have really already passed the point of being too cold to occupy and it's just going to get colder. Overnight lows expected in the 20s and even teens this weekend. We're very concerned about the potential for hypothermia. Uh, with this cold weather, it's really an issue that we need to be paying attention to. Something else to pay attention to is your neighbors. And let's stress checking our neighbors, neighbors helping neighbors is a theme that will get us through this crisis. Check in on each other to make sure everyone is doing okay. And we do have a full list of those shelters and warming centers on our website, kxly.com. In addition to those community efforts, Spokane city workers and volunteers started canvassing neighborhoods today to do wellness checks and also to hand out information on those shelters and contractors. Reporting in Spokane, Alyssa Donovan, KXLY4 News.